Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community. I'm Trigger, and I've got another top five list for you. This time, we're talking about racing specific mistakes in Need for Speed Heat. This is my top five. It's meant to be a short video, so let's get this thing underway. Let's go. All right, real quick before we get the video started, I just want to mention something. If you've noticed at the start of these videos, we have the Caliber Gaming logo at the beginning of every single video. This is my shared Discord with Dave Loves Games. This is the place where you're going to find high caliber content made by creators who actually care about their audiences, and I'm one of them. So for now, we have myself and Dave, but we are looking to recruit other creators to be a part of the Caliber Gaming brand. So if you know anybody that is very, very dedicated to their craft and they have a good YouTube channel or stream and you think that this is someone that fits in with the Caliber Gaming brand, then please do leave their information, their channel, their link to their stream, whatever it is, in the comment section. I will take a look. This is not meant to be for personal spam, but please leave a link for people that you know that we should check out and take a look at. All right, sorry, enough babbling. Let's get into the video itself. Keep in mind that this list is specifically for racing. This is not the same list that I made a couple of weeks ago, the top five mistakes in Need for Speed Heat. This is specific to racing. And also they're not in any type of order. This is just the order that I wrote them off the top of my head. At number five, we've got not nosing from the start. Now this is important because this helps you get a jump on the competition, whether you're racing AI or you're racing someone in your lobby. When you start a race, make sure that you are holding down the NOS button right when it says go. Press the NOS button and hold it at least for three NOSs at the start. This gets you started, this gets you close to top speed or on your way to top speed, and it is much faster, you can see from these clips. I've got one clip where I'm NOSing from the start, like I'm suggesting, and one clip where I wait just a couple of seconds and then NOS you need to do it directly from the start. It really helps. NOS does not affect wheel spin at the beginning of a race. That has everything to do with your build, not the NOS itself. The NOS increases your speed quickly, as you can see by this clip and this comparison. At number four, using an all or nothing turning approach. And what I mean by this is that you're using your joystick and you're going all the way to the left or all the way to the right to make minor adjustments or to take slight turns. This is really, really bad and it makes the car shake around. If you look at these two clips, on one side, we've got someone using the all or nothing turning approach, which is terrible and it makes the car shaky. On the other side, it's very smooth and it hits the lines and this is something that really you can see a difference between a, an experienced a, a very skillful player and someone who just doesn't have a lot of skill please stop using the all or nothing turning approach learn to control your joystick make micro turns make minor adjustments without jamming the joystick to the left or to the right at number three using the handbrake on every turn. Now look, I know I included this on one of my previous videos, but this is really, really important and it has to be in this top five racing mistakes. It requires a spot here. I've talked about it before, but don't use the handbrake on every turn. In fact, 95% of the turns in this game, in these races, don't use a handbrake. This is something that is catastrophic to your speed and your ability to take a turn. This is not a good way to take turns. It is slower by every measure, unless you have to use a handbrake. There are not that many turns like that. And there are some exceptions when it comes to dirt racing, but for the most part, 95% of the time, you can get away with not using the handbrake at all, using the drift mechanic and the left trigger for your traditional brake. At number two, and this is actually a pretty big one as well, colliding with barriers. Guys, these little breakable barriers that are on the side of the races slow you down tremendously. Every single barrier you hit has a 10 to 15 mile per hour drop on your speed. It will take you from full speed down to 140 miles per hour just like that. It is, it is devastating 
to hit these barriers in a race. If you're trying to increase your speed, you're trying to have faster race times, this is something you have to avoid at all costs. Do not hit the barriers. On the same topic, you can collide with trees and light poles and breakable structures. Those do not affect speed at all. And at number one, and this is really important, I have mentioned this type of thing in videos before, but this is really the biggest mistake that I see almost all players make, and that is just not taking the racing line when you're making a corner. This is huge. You have to take the racing line. If you don't, you will be slowed down tremendously. You can see in these two clips, the difference in speed, the difference in, in seconds gained by taking the racing line. If you don't know what a racing line is, that's okay. I have a full video on Need for Speed Heat cornering. It is a little bit different than most cornering videos, but this is something that you should definitely pay attention to. I'll have a link to that video in the description down below. This video explains the racing line sort of in the beginning of the video. If you don't know what the racing line is, that's a great video to watch. It's a little bit of a complicated subject, so I try to use some visuals to show you the correct racing line. But basically, in a nutshell, you wanna start as wide as you can. If you're making a right-hand turn, you wanna start your turn all the way to the left. You wanna hit the apex, which is the smallest points, the shortest, most inner point of the turn. It's right up against the barriers. So if you're making a right-hand turn, you start wide, you cut to the right, hit the apex, and then you end your turn wide again. This gives you the best possible racing line. So anyway, I explained this a lot more in that other video, so you can definitely check that out. The link is in the description below. I guarantee you watch that video and you follow those procedures, you will be way faster than you are right now. All right, that's it for the list, guys. I appreciate you watching the video. This was intended for racers who have just started the game. We've got a lot of new players in Need for Speed Heat. I'm getting a lot of DMs about new player guides, and this is just another list for newer players so that we can have some growth in the community. I'm all about helping people get better at the game. That's what I wanna do. And so I wanna lift people up, including all of the people who have just bought the game recently. And because that's one of my main goals with this channel, you guys are welcome to send me DMs at any time. When I have time to respond, I will, but I read every single DM that comes my way. It's on Instagram, Twitter, or Discord, doesn't matter. I read them. It may take me a day or so to get back to you, but I definitely read them. So send me your questions about the game. We can help and make people better. I definitely wanna do that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Shout out to all the Militia subs. We are growing like crazy. I will catch you on the next one. Trigger out.